and hello everyone welcome back to a new video so today we're going to be talking about adding subtracting and stuff like that so uh, yeah let's get started so first off if you watched my previous video you would have seen quite a few outputs you can get so we're just going to use a show message to do everything so first off let's begin with plus so we're going to be adding stuff together with plus so it should be easy we're, we don't have variables yet so we're not going to be using that just yet uh, I will first want to teach you guys how to make sums so let's start by just creating a show message show message okay and in here we're going to be doing everything so let's go int to string and then in here we'll be plusing and stuff so plus is easy it is just something like 5 plus 6 and you should get 11 yes 11 all right that's easy enough remember guys this and this and this is not the same so this will just display 5 and 6 unlike javascript you can't plus them together if they're strings same goes for if you're going to make this one string it's just going to be a string it's not going to be adding or subtracting anything so now we have done plus now let's do minus minus is pretty easy just as plus it can be int to str okay and then just like 5 minus 5 that should give you 0 see 0 very easy now this is where it gets a little teensy weensy bit different times now let's times 5 by 5. Now you watched my previous video, you know times is a whatever that is. Now yeah, you could go that, but that doesn't work because x is a letter. We don't want letters, we want that. Um this is pretty basic, it's mostly the same in every language. Um, not all of them of course. For example, brainfuck, you can't do that. So uh yeah, that is times. Show message, 25. Now, then you also get divide. Divide. Now, let's divide 25 by 5. That should give you 5, right? But that's times. So, a divide is a slash. That, that's all it is, a forward slash. And then you divide. Oh, but wait. Into string can't be called with this argument. It's probably because it's a divide. Div. Okay. Now, in a type of divide where you would use it in a into string place like this you would use a div and voila now div is something a little bit different so we're going to be working with the div a little bit later but if you were would want to have used it as slash the actual way people use it it's going to give you an error but that is because with a slash you get returned in real now in real is something that is like a number dot or comma and not more numbers now also another word for real could be float or even double if you work with java now to get a float you just go float to string now this will change it from a double 
or a real or whatever you want to call it to a string. So remember a float is something like 5.67. That's a float. Just 5 is an integer. 5 point anything, like even 5.0, that's not an integer, that's a float. So now if you go like that, and you go like that, you get 5. Yeah, so that is based the basics of dividing times plus and minus. We'll be using this a lot more in the future. So yeah, thank you all for watching. See you all in the next video.